So we're talking burger time today, and this game means a lot to me. Uh, it's just a simple arcade game, but it's one of those few games that me and my friends owned when we were growing up, and specifically I played this a lot with my friend Eric. We were never good at it. Ever. But it is just one of those games that's like a real nostalgic thing for me. I can go back and play it and obviously do terrible at it over and over again. It's such a fun game and I really, really love it. Burger Time was released in 1982 and then pretty much just ported to every system because that's what happened when you had an arcade game back in the day. It's kind of sad to see that the NES, had, NES version doesn't look as good as the arcade even though the arcade game it came, came out a long time before. That being said, it's still a pretty good looking game for the NES. Is it the best in the world? No, but it's still a lot of fun to play, and it looks decent enough. Now, Data East did make a bunch of sequels and spin-offs to this. I mean, granted, they're kind of sequels and names only, because I'm not sure how you exactly create a sequel to a guy that wanders around on top of burgers and fights off what I think are sausages and eggs, I'm not really 100% sure on that. But, it's just one of those wonderful things to see a game like this keep going, especially into the modern era. Now the sequels were kinda crazy, there was Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory, Burger Time, or sorry, Super Burger Time, Diner, Burger Time Deluxe, Burger Time Delight, and Burger Time World Tour. There's also going to be a Switch version coming out, which is, I'm hoping, is just like a, at least either a modern remake or something a little bit better than what it was back in the day, because I'm tired of just getting my ass kicked by this game. Now, I know how to play it now, back in the day, like I said earlier, no idea what I was doing. The way you want to do this is to get all of the enemies to kind of follow you, and then you can drop one of the different burgers or parts of the burger on them. I feel like now that I know how to play, I'm considerably worse at this than I was before, but it, it's just, it's one of those things. Now you do have a, you do have one way to really defend yourself. You've got some either salt or pepper, and you kind of shake it at the enemies and it stuns them for a little bit. But the real way you want to do, want to get rid of them, is to have them underneath one of the pieces of the burger as you drop it. It's just a weird, weird way of doing things. Also, this restaurant is horribly unhygienic. I have no idea how they're still open. Now, all of that being said, there is actually a real burger place called Burger Time. There are only nine locations in Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota. I'm assuming they don't walk on their food, so it's probably okay to eat there. One thing I, I don't really like about this is just like how few shakes you have with your seasoning. I'm just gonna call it that because I don't really know what else to call it. And I, there probably are ways to get more of it. I don't know how to actually do it, but yeah, it, it's still, it's one of those really simple arcade games that's just a lot of fun. I was having control issues with the NES controller, but that might just be the controller itself. Or it's just the fact that I'm old and I'm not, you know, very good at this anymore. The reaction time's not there, and blah blah blah, whatever. But overall, from just from playing it, it's it controls fairly well. I never got a chance to play the arcade version, which I'm kind of sad about. I'd have to go out and try to find one of the machines now, but it, I don't know how hard that would be. But it's one of those things that I would really like to do kind of like a bucket list thing or something like that. Also, I never got a chance to go to one of the Burger Time restaurants, but that's because there's only nine locations out there, so kind of hard for me to get to one of them.
So yeah, I have a lot of love for this game. It's just one of those really nostalgic games for me. Everybody has one where it's not the best game out there. There are better games in its genre, or it doesn't look that great anymore, but you just really, really love it. And Burger Time is one of those for me. It, I'm awful at it, and I still love playing it. And for some weird reason, it's just kind of stuck around for me, and they've kept on making game games for it. You know, there have been some spin-offs that I haven't played, but I really want to now, <laughs> just from doing this video and, and going and doing some more research on the game. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Next month, we're going to get into a couple of horror games, so hopefully you'll enjoy those videos, and hopefully you like this one. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later, and have a great day, everybody.